You know the time when I tried to put my RS2 onto the RC car and that turned out to just be completely useless? Yeah, we're gonna revisit that. The issue with the construction last time was that we didn't have any sort of suspension that was taking away the micro vibrations from the gimbal being attached into the RC car. But the fun thing is that when DJI saw the video, they sent over this plate and uh, a bunch of other cool stuff. And I thought, why not try to make a wire suspension with this plate and some custom built stuff and see if we can get that to work. So we're gonna have to create a new plate that we can attach this to that's gonna be slightly bigger in the diameter. Good thing about having a thermos. Coffee anyway. So my plan is to attach this into this plate with a couple of screws that will hold each wire to this plate so that we get rid of the wobbling. I have no idea if it's gonna work, but we're gonna give it a try. This might actually work. <laughs> So here you have my homemade, I don't know what you call it, shock suspension for the RS2. So I had two of these small rig ball head joints lying around and thought why not use them as our supporting beams for this suspension plate. And uh, we're just gonna see if we can attach it to the RC car and if it can actually hold up. So it feels good. It feels like we have a little bit of extra suspension right here. Now we're just going to attach the gimbal. And to be able to do that, I'm going to use these tilta arms and slide it onto the notch rail. I'm going to use the second one, do the same thing. And hopefully it's going to be able to hold our entire rig. But I don't know. This is going to work. Same thing on the other side. All right, now the only thing that we would need would be two wires that kept it in position when it comes to the sides, because that is where our biggest issue is right now. And also this one, we need to have some sort of locking mechanism to be able to lock this into place. But right now it's going a little bit too far off. Let's give it a try. So I decided to take the entire thing apart because it didn't really work out the way I thought. The wires were a little bit too like wobbly. So instead of using this dimension of wires, I'm gonna go up to this dimension and see if it works. And my plan this time around is to use wire locks 
And then I'm gonna place the wire within this, lock it into place, and then tighten it around. And hopefully, our suspension is going to work this time around. In the kit that DJI sent over, there was this kind of like mounting plate for the Ronin S2. And the way that it works is that you basically attach it the same as the battery, and they lock it into place. But now you have it placed on top of a mounting plate instead. So what I'm thinking is that we're gonna put this onto the RC car and not tip over. That's like the biggest <laughs> worry that I got. <laughs> no, I just can't see if we can attach this onto a plate and if it's gonna give us the suspension that we need. We're going to have to create a new plate, just like this one, but a little bit more fine-tuned and uh, looks a little bit better because we want to make sure that the wire locks are going to be put in place but it's not going to disturb the ability to put in and out the batteries of the RC car. Honestly I do think that six wires should be enough but if it's not enough we're going to go up and add two more wires to it. But okay let's get to it. So what we're going to do now is that we're going to attach the wire locks onto this plate and then attach it to these bolts. Would you look at that? That looks pro! <laughs> this is good. I mean, come on, how cool is this? You think it's gonna work? No. <laughs> Gotta say, it feels sturdy. Feels like the suspension plates are working pretty good. Might just have to fix something here. Yeah, that might be an issue. As you can see, we have a little bit of flakes here. So what we're going to do is that we're gonna drill a hole here and then attach it with a stripe on each side. And the last time we used this part to be as like the holder of the gimbal handle, but since we're powering the gimbal externally, we gotta put the battery inside this. So we gotta make a contraption in which we can place it here and then zip tie it or something similar so that it sticks in place and can power the gimbal with this. Tighten it with this, um, I don't know how you say it in English, but it's better to say slang clem. Avengers assemble. Test inside and see if the micro vibrations are still there or if they're gone. seems to be working pretty well and look through the footage it actually seems like it's gonna be usable this time around and so far like the gimbal is holding up very nicely and it definitely takes the turns pretty well as well the thing we need to do is probably widen the entire car with some extra tires let's do that and uh, take it outside for a <laughs> moment of truth Ooh. It's 
It's definitely not as responsive, but I think it's gonna work. I'm just gonna give it a try and see how, how it goes without the camera on. Now that I have a little bit more weight room to play around with. It is extremely hard to control with all the four wheels. It's like it's slipping, but it doesn't fall over, and that is that is a good thing. Let's put on the A7S3 and the 24 millimeter and see how good the footage looks. Everything is locked tight. It's fire and off we go. Come on, I can't believe how good it looks. We're gonna go full throttle down this parking lot. was way too much fun, but I know that it's not the smoothest kind of looking footage, but I think if we tweak it, we probably can get it to look very smooth. And I honestly think some of the footage is usable as long as we're not driving off road, but when you're driving on flat surface, huge thumbs up actually. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. It was made purely out of fun. And if you did, please do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. And, uh, oh, Camera survived, a little bit dirty, but here it is, looks good. Um, oh, got another clean up and uh, filters from Freewell, also good. Thumbs up. Okay, I I'm gonna start rambling. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Peter from Sweden, say goodbye. I do.